Welcome to the second half of week 10. The art projects that have been uploaded so far have been very creative, and your labs have been all very good. I've gotten a lot of movie recommendations for your sympathetic response. Apparently, all of you thought the person has a sock tan line, or like 90% of you. I got some very creative reasons why the thumb was bigger on one side than the other side. It's the real reason was I can't Photoshop. And the brachial plexus one you missed. I'm not sure if I sent you to the wrong page, but since two thirds of you missed it, it's my fault and not yours. But the ulnar nerve is your bunny bone. For lecture and lab, we are working on the special census. Now it's a short lecture. Blood is going to be short next week. Endocrine might be a little bit on the long side next week. So answer the review questions as you go through it. Now, it has five parts. The first three parts are going to be on the eye. So go through them. Look at what I said to pay attention to here. These are all going to be on the test. So part, protection of the eye, structures of the eye. I'll ask you what the layers are. There will be a question, what is the path of light through the eye? So make sure you know that. And we're going to talk about rods and cones. Then we have one lecture on the inner ear. We're going to focus on the path of sound, what the different structures do of the inner ear. Then we have taste and smell. And there's going to be a little bit of balance. The balance, I want to know what static equilibrium is, what dynamic equilibrium is, and where the receptors are. There are going to be two questions on balance. That's it. The assessment's going to be some matching questions. Basically, it's a survey. It is going to ask questions. I expect you're looking at the notes. There's no time limit. It's set to take it as many times as possible. S Oops, there is a 15 minute time limit. I thought there wasn't a time limit. So you can take this as many times as possible. The idea is, do you understand it? Getting you ready for the test. For lab, we're doing the special senses as well. The first thing we're doing a cow eyeball dissection. I'm really sad we are not doing the dissection at home. When I asked the lab tech, can I have you guys go and pick up eyeballs to dissect at home? She looked at me like I had sprouted horns and gone completely crazy. We can't do it because of the preserving agent in the eyes, by the way. So what I want you to do is watch my video link, then go to complete anatomy. Select models, select secretion, protection of the eye, go through and label the structures, take a screenshot. Then open and download this PowerPoint file. You have to download it to your computer. It's a PowerPoint presentation, not a PowerPoint file. And I have recorded going through the cow eyeball dissection, fill out this worksheet as you go. If you just open it here, it's not gonna have my narrations, it's gonna think it's a regular PowerPoint. So go through, use the navigation bars, on the side and do the cow eyeball dissection. So it's basically giving you an idea of what it is like. And then upload that all right here. So this is what the show looks like. There's navigation here. Basically, you're, every time you click on one of these in the actual show, I'm going to be dictating something about that page. And then we have labeled views to actually help you with your drawings. We then have two parts of histology. We have two parts here and two parts down here. And when you're done, go to my webpage, find the structures on the retina and the tongue model. So here are the histology models. So you're basically finding the structures. This is the retina model being shy on the side right here. And the models are basically to help you with these structures, but do the histology drawings. Then you're going to look at models. So watch my videos for the models. This one's mine, this one looks like it is Jonathan's. Then go to this website, find the structures, go to this website and mouse over. So here's the rotating eye and we have the rotating ear as well. So find the structures, there's my video. You'll be here for the ear also, so there's the ear model. And we actually have the cochlea and the semicircular canals 
This is actually a humongous model right here. So look at those as well. And we also have the nasal cavity one. Yes, you've actually seen this before. It's the exact same one for the bones. I just put it on another page. So go there, find them. For the this page, I'm sending you to Dr. Carpenter's page. So we have the different ones. We have the ear models. So if we're going to watch Jonathan's video on this, then we are going to find the structures, find the structure on the ear model, write the numbers. You may need to look at different angles for the numbers. Then you're going to upload everything else here. Look at the study guide. Pay attention to the histology. A lot of people have trouble with histology. I think they paid more attention to how I did the drawings than what the histology really looked like. So thank you.